Matty, Challenge Cup final week. How, how ready are you and the girls for the final? Yeah, you know, really ready. I think, um, you know, I think the, the opportunity, I've said it around the room today, you know, the opportunity to for the girls to, to get out there uh, you know, in the international stadium and, and walk out at Wembley is just a bit amazing in itself but I think to get the win is what we're, we're going for and you know, to keep hold of that trophy and, and bring it back to St Helens so yeah we're ready now I think we've, we've come we're coming good at the right time I think we've got a healthy squad um, and it's just about going out there and performing now What lessons have you learned as a coach in the last few months with the, uh, with the team? Yeah it's challenging <laughs> You know the, the girls have been great though. You know they want to they want to learn. They want to be professional. They want to get better. Um, you know they're, they're really coachable. You know in, in that respect. Obviously they, they, they ask a lot of questions. You know more questions than the men do. But um, that's just because they want to get better. And you know for me I've, I've learned so much so far. Um, you know being in, in the men's environment as well has also helped me. Obviously being, being you know with Paul and, and, and you know great coaches like that. So. Yeah, I'm learning all the time and, um, you know, I'm back at a, a great club as well, so, you know, grateful for the opportunity I've, I've been given. In terms of team selection, we were talking to Tara and she was saying you're going to have some difficult choices because, yeah. A, everybody's just about fit, but you've got some good young girls coming into the squad this year. We have, yeah, and, you know, I think I've handed out nine debuts up to now, you know, this year. We, we've had a, quite a lot of a big turnaround in, in the squad. You know, last year we had seven girls leave. We brought a few, few, you know, a few girls in this year. Four girls have been signed, and um, so there's been a big change in the squad. I don't think people realise that. You know, they see Amy Arcastle left, but you know the, the other girls didn't really get talked about as much. Who, who retired? So um, yeah, it's kind of a new squad, if you like. But yeah, at this moment in time, we're really healthy. You know, we've not got many injuries. I think there's one long-term injury. Apart from that, everyone else is fit. So. Um, it makes my job a little bit harder, especially the last couple of weeks. Um, and, and there's girls, you know, on Saturday that are going to miss out that probably don't really deserve to be missing out because of the quality players. But I think that's a sign of a good team as well. And um, yeah, difficult decision, but I'm sure whichever whichever way I go on Saturday, I think you know the 17 that take the field will be ready. Does that make it even more important though that you have a core of experienced players as well? That the, the spine of your team is the one that's been there for quite a while, and yeah. they're going to direct the girls around. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the girls that are here today, you know, you TJ, em, Emily Rudge, and, and obviously Jordan, the captain, is um, them three are, are great leaders. You know, in their own right, we've obviously got a lot more experience as, as well in the team, and I think we have eight England internationals. But like you just mentioned, the young girls coming through as well. They're all. They're all pushing for a place now, so you know to have that experience obviously helps you. You know, in terms of big games, they've played there, they've been there and done it. But I don't think anyone anyone's quite ready for, for Wembley. You know, it's certainly the, the biggest game of my career when I played. So um, you know, I'm, well, I'm looking forward for for them. You know, they deserve that opportunity as well. The women's games only improving and. To, to walk out of Wembley on Saturday is massive for the, for the game. So you join a very select group of people that have played there and now will be coaching there. Have you reflected on that or thought about that? Yeah, I can't believe it's actually been 10 years since since 2013 when I played there. And one, it's, um, you know, time does fly, doesn't it? But, um, yeah, it, it's obviously great, that, you know, great achievement for me personally to, to want to you know, get the chance to play there, to win. But then to do it as a coach so so soon in my coaching careers, um, you know, it's not lost on me. I think it's you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for me. It's, it's one that I'm really looking forward to. You know, uh, can you give them some advice as well about the occasion? Because some great teams haven't won there because the the, yeah. the occasions overwhelmed them. But you now will be able, presumably, to give them some little bits of insight into just how to handle the day. Yeah, it's your saying it's just another game but it, it, you know to be perfectly honest you know, it's not it's, it's Wembley and you, you do look forward to this week you know when I was a player you've got to take it all and you've got to make sure you prepare like you would for any other game and then on the day it's just about going out staying composed and, and playing your game and doing your job for the team so um, you know that's what I'll be saying to the girls it's you're 80 minutes away from lifting that trophy and, you know and, and you want to perform on the biggest stages that's that's what I wanted to do as a player. You know, that's what you remembered for. Um, but we've got a great group of girls and who have played. You know, they played for the country. They played in finals. They've experienced big games. So they, they, they know what it's about. Um, 
but we, I'm sure we'll be ready. We'll be ready on Saturday. We'll be right this week, and, and we'll go into that with, with confidence. It's a big, wide open space, probably bigger than most of the pitches that you play on. Can we expect a, a tight game, or do you think it'll be high scoring? There's a lot of strike in both teams. Yeah, the, both teams are great attacking, aren't they? And, and both teams, you know, defend defend well as well. So I think it's going to be a really tight game. I think there won't be much in it. Um, but like we just said, whoever's composed on the day, whoever, you know, there'll be big moments in games, and whoever handles them big moments the best. Um, I think we'll go on and win the game so hopefully that's us If only you could have someone who could drop a goal in his goal and play an extra time Yeah we've got a couple of them so you know obviously Fair did it for us a couple of weeks ago and you know what a kick that was to you know big moment big you know big players step up in big moments and it was certainly a big moment for us and but we've got a few players like that and hopefully hopefully we'll get um, you know big performances from everyone